Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian Gamer, and this is some Medal of Honor gameplay that I recorded um, about a half a month back when I suddenly got the urge to play this game again because um, it has the potential to be so great, but it um, still screwed it up. As you might have noticed, I've dropped the intro because I don't believe it to be necessary anymore to have that thing. I mean, it says in the title what game it is, I tell you what game it is, so you don't need a freaking intro for five seconds telling you what game it is. I think it's made abundantly clear what um, game you're about to watch or are watching. Um, so I just want to mention at the start here, uh, as you can see, I'm pretty much camping, and um, that's what I hate about the start of this um, this kind of game type, because it's more or less just camping and waiting here for them to come up, especially in, on this map, since if you move any further forward, they're just going to sit on the ridge up to the left there, behind the radar, or they are going to um, sit in the... Uh, you know, in the uh, valley just to left of the screen now and just shoot you down. So you're more or less stuck just sit sitting back here and waiting for them to come to you and it makes for some bizarre gameplay here at the beginning here. But in, uh, in a minute or so I actually get auto-balanced or kicked over to the other team uh, by the auto-balance auto uh, and from that point on, it's a lot more fun actually. I get to push forward, and then, uh, I actually work with a team that actually know how to play this game. So we actually push forward. Everyone pushes. Uh, they're pretty good players, you know. So we actually make some progress. And sometimes I was just amazed at how fast he actually managed to plant the uh, or pl yeah, plant the objectives or attack them uh, and take them down. And uh, if you don't know, in this um, game mode, which is called, uh, ah, what's it called? Combat Mission? Yeah, Combat Mission, that's the name. <laughs> uh, it, it's, um, it's a mix of different objectives, or a mix of how to actually complete the different objectives. Sometimes you gotta plan a bomb and wait for it to go off, kind of like in a Rush in Bad Company 2, or it's just a sector on the map that you have to be uh, uh, an area a zone that you have to be in on the map this is a great flanking spot actually oh, jumping over there um, a spot or a zone that you have to be within to actually uh, kind of capture that area and that will allow you to move ahead so what I also wanted to talk to you about is um, just some thoughts I have on Steam, um, the game service from Valve. Now, I'm a big supporter of Steam. I mean, I really love Steam. <laughs> um, if you're a PC gamer, I believe it to be an important part of your uh, portfolio of different programs or applications you should have on your computer. I know a lot of people don't like it that much, but and I, I'm not saying that it's perfect, far from it. There's a lot of problems that I wish they could fix. Uh, like stability issues, speed issues, and stuff like that, and that's not what I'm here to complain about. What I, what I, however, want to do is um, just make uh, two suggestions to what Valve could do to make Steam a bit more attractive. Um, I don't know if you know this, but included with the kind of steam package there's something called steamworks which is a package of different um, tools that game developers can implement into their games which gives them uh, abilities to interact with steam in different ways for example steamworks gives you the steam drm which makes your game hard to copy and it uses the Steam a solution where y your username and password are linked to your game, so you can download your game as long as you're log and play it as long as you're logged in to your user, for example. And it gives um, the VAC, the Valve Anti Cheat, on servers if you want that. You got trophies or achievements as they're called, which 
functions just like trophies and achievements on the PS3 and the Xbox 360, respectively. You've got uh, the friends list you can interact with, and there's a lot of different stuff that I won't go into, and I probably don't know about at all. So there's a lot there for game developers. Watch, watch this failed throw of the smoke grenade. A lot of developers have actually started using these features in games, and I believe them to be great because Steam is an excellent substitute for the built-in system that is present, especially on the Xbox, um, where you have a friends list, you have chat, and this interactivity, this community that you can just tap into automatically that's already there. So developers don't have to create a whole new community just for their game or for uh, their games. So what I would love Steam to do is actually uh, kind of build upon that philosophy that they have a community there and introduce some new stuff. Um, the first thing is a better audio code codec because there is voice chat built into Steam right now but the audio quality of that chat is horrible and it is usable but barely so. So a lot of people use other uh, services instead of Skype, uh, Steam, uh, I mean. <laughs> uh, for example, Skype or Ventrilo, you've got TeamSpeak, Mumble, something like that. And if they would just give it a better audio codec, I believe that a voice chat in Steam would be far superior to any of those since you already have the Steam in-game uh, overlay that actually lets you kind of connect with your friends while you're in-game. Another thing that I would love Steam to uh, Steam to have is a party system where you can actually go into parties and the voice chat, the text chat would be in a party where everyone can pull in. And there is a the chat system supports multiple people in one chat, so it's a group chatting. But I wanted to be kind of um, a uh, a um, feature that spans over not just the text chat but also the voice chat so everyone ch talk together and make it a feature of the Steamworks toolkit so that game developers can just say well we, su we support the Steam uh, party system so that if people go into a Steam party, uh, party they can play together on the same team with their Steam party like you can do with parties on the 360. And that's the end of the game, and soon the end of the video, and also the end of my thoughts. Well, not permanently, but on what I could utter to you before the video, this video ends. So that's pretty much it. I hope to see you next time. Snuckus.